You know, when I first started my dreadlock journey, there was a lot of people telling me what I should do with my dreadlocks, but there weren't a lot of people telling me what I shouldn't do with my dreadlocks. And when I think about it now, me knowing what not to do with my dreadlocks would have been more beneficial than me knowing what to do with my dreadlocks. And that's exactly what this video is here for you. This video will explain to you guys what not to do with your dreadlocks in the beginning stages. This video will also explain to you that you should hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. You see what I did there? I saw it. I mean, I just want to make sure you saw it. You know, I just slid it right in there. Intro. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Vinny Matthews, and I'm here to show you guys five things that you should not do in the beginning stages of your dreadlock journey. Now, if you're anybody like me, I hate it when there's a lot of YouTubers. They like to prolong the intro instead of just getting right into it. And that's exactly what we're not gonna do here. We're just gonna get right into it. Let's start off with the number one thing that you shouldn't do with your dreadlock journey. Now, the first thing that you shouldn't do when you're beginning your dreadlock journey is getting your dreadlocks retwisted too soon, too often, too many times okay now i know like i said that you're a beginner in your dreadlocks so you want your dreadlocks to look nice you want your appearance to be clean you want to look fresh all the time but understand this playboy it's not the way to go okay you need to let your dreadlocks have some time to mature and you just can't do that if you're just taking your hair out all the time you're washing it all the time and then you're getting it retwisted okay you consistently getting it twisted it's all it's gonna do is just put so much tension to your hair that your, your scalp is just not going to want to grow. You need to give your scalp some time to rest and reset and grow. That's just like a bodybuilder. A bodybuilder just can't be in the gym all the time lifting heavy weights. Like, no, you need to give your body some time to reset and get into the next set, okay? There's nobody just going to look full on 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 reps at a time. There's nobody doing that, okay? So you need to give your hair some time to mature, okay? The best advice I got was you want to give your hair at least a good six to eight weeks before you want to get your hair retwisted all the time. So the first tip I'm giving for you guys is do not consistently get your dreadlocks retwisted all the time. Now, the second thing that you shouldn't do when you're starting out your dreadlock journey is avoiding going to bed without wrapping your hair up, okay? Guys, understand, your dreadlocks are an investment. You need to protect your investment. So when you go to bed at night, you need to wrap your hair, okay? And, I, and like, you know, it's just, in the end of the day, you not wrapping your hair is gonna cause your scalp to be so dry and your dreadlock to be dry. And let's be real, fellas. Nobody likes anything dry, okay? Mac and cheese, chicken, steak, conversations, women. You know, I just, okay. Okay, oh, okay. But you have to protect your investment, okay? You have to wrap your hair up. And I know you guys don't wanna wear the bonnets. I know you guys don't wanna you know, wear the do-rags. I know you wanna be cool when you go to bed, but yo, you need to wrap your dreadlocks, okay? If you want your dreadlocks to be fulfilling and so, so much volume and you know, and so, and thick, you have to wrap your dreadlocks when you go to bed, okay? You might as well just start the habit out now, you know, before you go to bed. Start at the early stages. So when your dreadlocks do to uh, do start to get longer, there won't be no breakage, there won't be no damage. You have nice, lovely locks, okay? So please do wrap your hair when you go to bed, okay? Now, the third thing that you shouldn't do with your dreadlocks is to consistently keep playing with your hair. I, yo, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You guys are just sitting, you guys just say like you're in school, you're sitting in school, you're sitting down, or you're just laying down, and you're just constantly twisting your dreadlocks. Like, yo, you're doing nothing. You're doing, yo, just for what, okay? You already got your locks done. Your locks are starting to form. Your locks are starting to mature. There is no reason for you to keep twisting it, especially if you're twisting it when it's dry. That's a no-no, okay? You constantly twisting your dreadlocks is doing nothing but putting so much damage to your scalp. You, you can create thinning you know, to your dreadlocks and you can create so much breakage to your scalp. 
Now, I know that you're very excited about your dreadlocks and you just want to keep touching it because I, I, I get it, it's yours. But think of your dreadlocks are like a, a, a piece of like art, it's a painting. Do you go around touching your piece of art all the time? No, you don't, you let your art be, okay? So that's the same thing with your dreadlocks. Stop retwisting your dreadlocks. You're doing so much damage to it, okay? Believe me, trust me, you don't see the average person with dreadlocks, with long dreadlocks, they're not there just sitting with their hair. And I get it, because they're small and it's a habit, but yo, get out of that habit and understand, like yo, you're doing nothing great for your dreadlocks by sitting there and just keep retwisting your dreadlocks. So fellas, women, stop playing with your dreadlocks, okay? You're doing more, more harm than anything, okay? Stop playing with your dreadlocks. And the fourth thing that you shouldn't do with your dreadlocks is using wax for your dreadlocks, okay? Now, I understand, you know, you wanna use wax because it's gonna help, you know, your dreadlocks stay together, stay in place. I get that, but understand, yo, wax is just not the way to go, okay? Wax creates so much buildup and it gets, it's, it's, it's so hard just to take out. You can try to shampoo your hair, condition it all you want to, but yo, that wax will stay in your hair and that wax, will all, all it does is you know, it attracts so much dirt and you do not want dirty dreads. And I know that's a misconception. There's a myth in the dreadlock community that the dirtier your hair is, you know, the more that it will grow. But how can it grow when it has so much buildup in your scalp? How does anything grow? Just imagine a plant just had like, let's just say like, play-doh or just slime all over its roots you think the plant is going to continue to grow no so you have to see wax is like slime on your hair just it's just it's just dirt your hair cannot fully blossom with so much dirt so please do not use wax use other sources like a like a light gel okay those light gels you know they won't even leave no residue when you do when you have your dreadlocks especially when you go to bed i used to use wax personally i really did and like I said, I, I had no guidance when it came to dreadlocks. And I realized, yo, my dreadlocks were like so heavy. So heavy, and it was so greasy all the time. And every time I went to bed at night, even though I had a wrap on, it would leave so much stains on my pillows and nobody likes that, guys, okay? So, do not use wax. Avoid wax by all means. Use oils, use a light gel, but do not use wax. Trust me. Now the last tip I wanna give you guys is to don't avoid washing your hair okay like i said in the tip before I, I yeah i really don't know where this myth came from i don't know if it's in the black community or what but i know i believe this back in my day and that is if i just don't wash my hair my hair will grow but that just sounds so so backwards you know you have to wash your hair and i understand like yo you don't want to wash your hair because in the beginning stages of your locks your locks are trying to mature they're trying to mend together but you need to wash your scalp okay your dregs are going to unravel and if it unravels that's totally fine you can put them back together but you need to wash your scalp trust me man nothing is good when it's dirty trust me okay you wash your body all the time that's great but you do need to wash your hair now when it comes to dreadlocks i recommend washing your hair once every maybe mm, let's just say one to two weeks but especially in the beginning stages it's okay to like you know let your dreadlocks just sit for a little bit maybe like a month or two so you can build that foundation with your dreadlocks but after that please wash your dreadlocks and depending on who's going to do your dreadlocks they're going to wash it for you anyway so you might as well do it for yourself do yourself some justice and wash your dreadlocks don't avoid not washing dreadlocks trust me it'll help you out and it'll benefit you in the long run and just like that folks there you have it those were the five things that you shouldn't do with your beginning stages of your dreadlock journey i hope you guys got so much value from this video let me know in the comment box down below what type of video that you want me to put out next time i can you can reach out to me through my email or just like i said just hit me up and i'll respond to you and i will put it probably put it in the next video so you just gotta let me know without further ado guys i hope you guys have a great day i hope you guys stay abundant my name is Vinny matthews and i'm out